Everybody's set. We're going to wait for the countdown. And here they are off Fringe A, looking to see if this is the year they can uh, get over the hill of SEC. They've, they've really been putting up some tough competition the past few years, and they're coming out really fast here yeah. uh, in this first hill. Spirit, though, uh, giving them a little bit of run for their money, and now Fringe A getting some separation. Higginson pushing off into that hill one to two transition. And here comes hill two around. Uh, Spirit several seconds behind here. And hill two really has been kind of one of the defining moments about what can give you uh, a, a good race. It's, it's You're able to recover from it, but you can just make it gain so much ground right there. So the hill, hill and the hill one was about 21 seconds. To our fastest hill one so far. And uh, what do you think of that hill two shove? I think it was not great. I think she kind of missed the shove. Uh, and an important thing to remember is that the uh, fringe A did not make it through the shoot last year and that was a mechanical issue a different buggy different driver and that buggy's no longer rolling so uh the hill two shove to me looked like she was hanging on to the to the, to the buggy way too long and, uh, and kept it real deep couldn't get anything behind it starts rolling away from you so yeah it really makes a difference that happened to fringe oh maybe two years ago or so and totally missed a shove and it ended up basically making the difference now she's going pretty fast it's about a 104 at the stop sign which is uh, maybe the top uh, stop sign time of the day. Let's see how they take it into the shoot. Ooh, ooh. A little wobbly, but still pretty nice line right there. Didn't look like they lost too much momentum. Spirit B. Very tight, tight line. Tight. Really nice line right there. And Fringe A is into the Hill 3 at 135. It looks like a great Hill 3. You know, it's hard to tell from here, but... Um that seems like a really tough hill and to time the pickup and everything, especially with a lack of experience. And Spirit B just didn't seem to carry a lot of speed into the turn or through it. Yeah, handoff has gone from three to four for Fringe A. Spirit B now working on their hill three. Apex A actually gained some ground right there on Spirit. Yeah, they had actually a really nice roll up in the back there and have caught up to Spirit B pretty well. And this is something where experience will come into play with Apex because on the back hills, if there's a chance of passing, it's the responsibility of the buggy in back to not interfere with the buggy in front. So they need to take a different line and create a different lane for themselves. And they have to maintain that lane. Uh, it's also a place where pusher interactions can become an issue and can create DQs as well. And here comes Faith Clayton on the Hill 5. Fringe A posting a very nice time up to this point. Can they get the number one spot uh, thus far on the day for rolls? We'll be able to see right here that a 231, 232. Yeah, she might get a sub 240 if that would be the fastest time of the day. Yeah, we're looking. It's going to be, if not, right at 240. I think they'll put that maybe a 239. Yeah. Spirit B coming up and really posting a pretty nice time for, for B team here. Let's see how they end up going. You know, I don't know what, that buggy just doesn't seem to be rolling really fast in the back hills. Uh, no, through the turn. I don't know what happened in there. It seemed to get up and over pretty easily. And it just seems like it's just... Something probably happened in the shoot. Something's got to be running. That's yeah. basically the mechanic answer to things. It is funny because normally I would say that, that they had a flat tire, but the European wheels doesn't really count. <laughs> That's right. And they crossed it about a 307. 307 and Apex A right behind them. Wow. Really nice showing from Apex right there. Maybe only two seconds difference.